So two weeks ago, we discussed how Bernie Sanders' wife, Jane, was under investigation by the FBI for fraud. Were you on that podcast? Uh, that two weeks ago, I don't think I that was. No. Mm-hmm. You, you didn't discuss Jane Sanders with us? No. At all? Okay. Did you hear about this, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that Jane was under investigation by the FBI for fraud after her shenanigans as president of Burlington College in Vermont led to its closing of its doors and getting her an undeserved $200,000 parachute despite her failings for the college and its students. Well, now we're starting to learn more that her daughter, their daughter, was also wrapped up in this oh, yeah. scheme. So when Jane Sanders arrived and assumed control in 2004 as president of Burlington College, there was no woodworking class. So that had to be started up for, for the mm-hmm. daughter. Tax records from 2009 show that Burlington College paid Vermont Woodworking School $56,474 for materials, leasing bench space, and other various charges. The college also hired Bernie and Jane's daughter, Karina Driscoll, to teach the woodworking class and was paid over $500,000 to teach over the course of four years at the college, which only maintained a student population of around 200 students. So let me just backtrack here real quick. Mm -hmm. One of the criticisms I got just from posting this article from a, a libertarian friend is, well, she got paid $500,000 over the course of four years. So it's mm-hmm. not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad if you're at a university that has tens of thousands of students. Mm-hmm. There's 200 students at this school. Yeah. You know what I mean? How many are taking the woodworking <clears throat> class? <laughs> yeah, a that's A fraction of that. That's, right? another, that's another great point. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> so... Uh, funds to the Vermont Woodworking School increased considerably <laughs> from the original amount of 133000 in 20, 2010 to 138000 in 2011 and 182000 in 2012, which is the last year that the program expenses are reported in the tax filings. I'm starting to lose my voice here. I'm starting to sound like Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and talk about the expenses if you want or whatever you have to say. <laughs> where, where are you at? Well, you want to continue? Go for it. There you go. So not only did Jane Sanders not deliver on the promise to fund the land deal to expand the college, which eventually collapsed it, but she also got her daughter a teaching position for a class that had to be created and instituted for her to teach, pay over $100,000 per year in supplies alone, and then after it all went financially belly up, Jane still got a 200 k parachute. <clears throat> yeah, so these are, these are all dominoes that were set up, right, mm-hmm. by the Sanders family. And I mentioned this to Matt, who was on the podcast at the time. <clears throat> what you have here is Jane got in there, okay, set up this horrible land deal that led to fraud, and she made promises to the banks that she was going to have backers to pay for these this land deal. And she, she promised that she already had people in place. Well, okay, listen, I, I'm not going to go outright and claim 100% that this is what happened. Yep. But if you're the spouse of a senator and you need financial favors for your job, where's the first place you go? To his backers. Yeah, I mean, should I start the Jeopardy tune there? Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> final Jeopardy question. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, yeah, you go to Bernie himself in this case yep. and say, hey, who do you know that can help out with this college, right? Yep. So she's the president. She sets, starts, sets all this up. I can only assume based on human nature, that Bernie got involved somehow as Mm -hmm. trying to find the donors. They set up a class that doesn't exist for their daughter, who's making over $100,000 a year in a school that only has 200 students. Mm -hmm. The whole thing goes belly up because they can't meet meet their financial responsibilities because of Jane Sanders. And one of those choices that she made was for her daughter to come on. Yeah, giving her that Elizabeth Warren money. Yeah, seriously. (laughs) And then the whole thing goes belly up, and not only do, does it go belly up, but she gets two hundred thousand dollars. Like, hey, thanks for your uh, for trying. Mm-hmm. It's like a participation trophy award <laughs> at the college level. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but yes, yeah, socialists and communist fans, these people are fighting for the little guys and against the rich, just like the innocent students that were kicked off the rolls. How they just ask them how they feel about the rich couple and their daughter that led to their dismissal. <clears throat> I want to see what kind of woodworking teacher their daughter was. Like, what are what skills? 
<laughs> Have you ever seen? Because I guarantee you, my my high school woodworking teacher, he was amazing, and he wasn't making this guy. Kind of okay, so this is only a joke. <laughs> this is a joke only for the people that went to my school. But uh, they probably built things that required batteries, <laughs> batteries, <laughs> which is what our teacher always said. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> did you ever see the? Uh, what was the movie with? Um, where he started up his own college. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, it sounds familiar. With Blake Lively. Oh, she was gorgeous. Yeah, she was uh, Oh, but the, the the one kid started a woodworking class, and he always made statues with, like, African statues with huge straight out, you know what I mean? You don't even know what <laughs> I'm talking about. Huge straight out, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I don't know. Uh, I know which movie you're talking about. You gotta watch that, because that's actually a really funny movie. Um, okay, so... Bernie was questioned, actually, on CNN by Jake Tapper, who, God bless this guy, on CNN, of all the, <laughs> yeah. of all the networks. Jake Tapper, I have to give credit, because he is actually one of the reporters that has been trying to dig in a little bit deeper on the left and get them to respond to some things. Mm-hmm. And it hasn't been working so much, but Jake Tapper actually asked Bernie Sanders about this college situation and it's shocking to absolutely no one that Bernie Sanders just completely flipped this whole thing around and blamed it on Republicans. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is a personal family situation where he, his family failed this college and turned it financially belly up. Yeah. But it's Republicans' fault. Yeah. <laughs> of course. So let's take a look at Bernie Sanders uh, in this interview right now. You and your wife recently retained lawyers. Um, I guess the fundamental question for you is, did you or anyone on your staff reach out to the bank to approve any loans related to this transaction? The answer is, of course, absolutely not. And in fact, let's be clear, uh, five years, five years uh, after uh, my wife left Burlington College, and she left it in better shape than it had ever been in, five years after, guess what happened? Right in the middle of my presidential campaign, I know this will shock the viewers, Uh, the uh, vice chairman of the Vermont Republican Party, who happened to be Donald Trump's campaign manager, raised this issue and initiated uh, this investigation. Uh, I should also mention to you that just the other day, uh, the person who allegedly had made this statement that I had been involved in this land deal refuted that. He said, I never said that. That was in a paper in Vermont. So, you know, I, I think what you're looking at is something the Republican National Committee is very excited about. My wife is perhaps the most honest person I know. She did a great job at Burlington College. Sadly, we are in a moment where parties not only attack public officials, they have to go after wives and children. Uh, you know, this is pathetic, and that's the way politics is in America today. There is a lot to unwrap there. <laughs> First of all, let's go with his ending statement. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, these parties are going after the wives and children. Yeah, case in point, you guys are always going after Melania and Baron. the Donald Jr. Yeah. and um, the good-looking one, uh, <laughs> Ivanka. <laughs> you were about to say Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you assuming? <laughs> Don't assume. Okay, <laughs> I met the good-looking one. Yeah. Um, yeah, you did. That's right. I did. I oh, have man. a couple of selfies with the good-looking one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, he's complaining about exactly what the left is doing. Here's my favorite statement from this whole interview, though. She left the college in better shape than it was in. There may be some truth to that. It was a liberal school and it closed down. <laughs> good job, so, Mr. Sanders. Good job, Sanders. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, let's just say for for giggles here that he actually believes that she left it in better shape than it was yep. in. She, her, her decisions led to it closing its doors. Yeah. So... Ask, what is he trying to what? ask the students if they think that she left it in a better place yeah. than, than what she found it? Then the other thing was uh, <clears throat> he's he's trying to blame this all on Republicans. Mm. The whole thing is a big spin story. Here's what it is: if you look at the details of this, and you if you play along with Bernie, I, I wish Jake Tapper had said this. Okay, so Mr. Sanders. Sanders, Sanders, uh, Krusty Sanders. Um, <laughs> so you're telling me that the Repu- it's the Republicans' fault <clears throat> that 
your wife was financially irresponsible at the college and led to its closing. Listen, Jake. <laughs> Jake Tapper, listen. Listen to me. I am a socialist. Why are you surprised that I don't believe that individuals should be held accountable for their own actions? It's George Bush's fault. <laughs> it is uh, the Republicans' fault. And if it that, wasn't George Bush, it was George H.W. <laughs> Bush. And if it wasn't his fault, I'm sure we could find something to tie to Reagan. Yeah. <laughs> because Come he on. was a capitalist bastard. Jake, <laughs> you should know that yeah. I... No, you have to go off to the side. That I don't, I don't believe these things. <laughs> and then like this. I'm just we'll trying to deflect <laughs> this terrible situation. Yeah. My wife is an honest she person. Is. My wife is so honest. <laughs> Oh, that's great. the other kicker right there. Yes. Holy crap. Yes. And my daughter can build a barn like no one else. Yeah. <laughs> she probably builds a little tiki. Man. Yeah. <laughs> she can whittle anything out of a block of wood yeah. and deserves $100,000. She makes but beautiful that. ducks. Yes. yes. Um, she. He said that. So that's the other one that I forgot. That his wife is this, the most honest person he knows. That's why he hangs out in D.C. Yeah, right. <laughs> because that may be the most honest person that he knows. Yeah. And that's not saying much. She literally said to the banks, I have backers that will back up what I'm borrowing as collateral, right? Yeah. And it wasn't there. It was completely a lie. And that's the type of honesty that Bernie Sanders is used to. Yep. That's all there is to it. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in more content from the Generation Y Conservative, you can click on the most recent over here. Also, I encourage you to click on the subscribe button down here and let your friends know by sharing this channel. While you're there, I also encourage you to click on the little bell notification so that you can be notified when content is published, whether it's the Generation Y Conservative podcast or more recently, our movie reviews, which are a lot of fun. We'll catch you next time on the Generation Y Conservative.